Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see how to access Google Trends, searches and reports using R. So this is extremely handy if you are uh, working in marketing, especially because a lot of times your SEO team might be coming and coming to you and asking you how a particular keyword is performing on Google. <coughs> Sorry. Or your SEO team could be also asking what are the other keywords that we should be probably bidding or your SEM team could be asking. So it, it can be uh, helpful in a lot of different cases or you could be just a hobbyist. You want to understand how the market is, how you are trying to launch a startup. So this, this is quite handy in a lot of cases. So first, uh, before we even uh, go to the R package. So this is how Google Trends look like. So you can put your keywords and then select uh, a particular country or worldwide. And then you can uh, try to compare how those keywords are performing. So here I've put uh, Zoom and Slack. So, and you can uh, actually see um, how these two are in terms of popularity um, with respect to search. A lot of people tend to do programming languages in this. So I uh, usually don't believe uh, that if a programming language is particularly searched for a lot of time, maybe it is popular or maybe it is uh, it has got a very poor documentation. That's why people uh, got to uh, search for it. So we are not going to get into that controversial territory, but simply for you to understand uh, uh, which one is people uh, something searching for more. So you can actually see the COVID effect uh, that uh, Zoom has been searched a lot of time and then um, the uh, number of searches is coming down. Probably a lot of people have already installed Zoom. So let's go to the package. The package name is uh, G Trains R and uh, it is uh, developed by two authors, Philip and uh, Dirk. Uh, so thanks uh, to them uh, for making this package and making it open source. Let us go ahead and right away install this package. As you can see, the latest version of this package is um, 1.4.4.5 and it is already available on CRAN. So if you try to install it, you can install it using installer packages. G trends R. I've already got this package installed, so I'm not going to install it. So once you have this package installed, just do library G trends R. So now that the package has been successfully loaded. So the next thing is, um, uh, let's first look at the basic thing. So what do you want to do? So you want to just basically query. So for that, the simple function is G trends. So let us start with, uh, uh, let's, let's just simply copy this and then say we want to compare. Uh, we don't want any particular geo, so we'll leave that. We want to compare Zoom and we want to compare Slack. So let's run this. Uh, once you run this, you can actually see that it takes a bit of time. Uh, it actually takes some time for uh, it to query the entire thing. So what it is going to return is it is going to return a list with S3 object, which is um, with, within that you have a data frame. So you can see that this entire thing is a list. Within that you have multiple data frames. And these data frames actually represent these parts of uh, Google Trends. So for example, uh, here you can see interest over time, which is interest over time, the data for the particularly for this. Here you can see related queries. You can see related queries. So uh, especially if you are into marketing or uh, if you are into SEO, SEM, Google AdWords, bidding, keywords, all those stuff. So these are the things that you might be interested in. We are free to explore the rest of the things, but we are going to focus particularly in uh, interest over time to see if we can actually make a plot just like this. So that's that's our objective for this video. But I would encourage you to check the other parts also. So as you can see, this is a particular section. So let's let's try to view that. Um, if you try to view that, you can see that it has got a date column. It has got hits, keyword, geo, where it is worldwide, and you have uh, you've got a time from when it is and then uh, whether it is web or um, uh, Google images, news or whatever it is. So let's first filter out this particular thing, interest of time. So let's call it IOT. Um, I know it's a very bad name, but uh, let's call it IOT. Interest over time. So now you have got a data frame of 520 observations with seven variables. Um, so if you try to, okay, so the first thing is you don't have to do any of these things. Actually, if you want this particular plot, you can just simply use plot of race and then you'll get the same plot. So you can get the same plot without doing anything at all. But uh, and uh, the other good thing is this plot. So let's also load tidyverse if you want to do data manipulation. So this plot uh, returns a ggplot object, which means you can actually play around with the theme. Theme, let's say I want to do theme minimal. You can see that it has changed. Or maybe let's say theme black and white. So you can see that you can simply take this object and then you can change 
and play with the theme theme um, whatever theme you want to do theme void you don't want anything you can have it so that's the advantage with this but maybe sometimes you want to um, filter out the data you want to do a little bit of manipulation so in that case you want um, data separately that is why we have uh, taken that particular data frame out and uh, saved it in an object called iot now you can see that so let's first take only 2020 data we, we don't want uh, the entire history so iot 2020 will um, do iot filter sorry filter date greater than um, as dot date 20 um 2020 okay so it's a, there is a small time zone problem let's leave that we don't want to um, deal with that so we have got this uh, date hits all those things starting from 2020 before we move further let us just check the types glimpse um, glimpse of so you can see uh, it's a date time integer and then you have got keyword so uh, so we are pretty much good uh, with the types that we have uh, and also if you want to have a look at what what are all the geos you have got geo tab um, so it's just world so you don't have to be bothered about it so we are quite settled uh, to make a plot like this uh, let's clear this out so too much of what we have got so now we can simply take this iot 2020 put it inside ggplot plus geom line and aesthetic uh, in which our x-axis is equal to date our y-axis is equal to hits and sorry our color is equal to which is a keyword and if you want you can add theme minimal okay so we have successfully created a plot that has plotted uh, this thing for 2020 so let's add some title oh, what's our title the title is zoom versus slack 2020 subtitle google trends report and a small caption um, courtesy g trend r package okay so now that we have got uh, the title we have got the subtitle and um, you have got all other details like uh, how the plot is how the keyword what the keyword is so you have so th basically this is the essence the essence is that um, you get the data uh, you want to play with that you can do that so basically you want to compare two products so maybe you could be the product owner for zoom you could be the product owner for slack so you want to do this comparison or you you just want to compare your competition so this is one important aspect of uh, the, the g-trends result the other one that we talked about initially is um, related queries this is especially very helpful if you are into let's say um, creating website content or if you are into uh, bidding adwords um, especially if you are into marketing analytics so here you can actually see what other keywords that are relevant to this related to this and uh, it has a, a, a given score so you can see zoom meeting zoom app zoom download air zoom samsung zoom nike zoom i don't know what these zooms are maybe nike has a zoom product maybe zoom virtual background people uh, almost like everyone uh, were going crazy about zoom background so you can see zoom background so this will help you to understand uh, what kind of keywords uh, that you can uh, target uh, so this is another important thing it's adding giphy to slack uh, slack related slack dark theme and some, some someone is uh, actually comparing microsoft teams versus slack and you can actually see which part of it is whether it is top or whether it is rising so this is uh, this is another important thing if you are into marketing analytics so i think uh, that's the main essence that i wanted to cover in this video which is to say that uh, how you can programmatically access this particular thing um, which means you don't have to know open a website or any anything of that sort you can simply use your uh, traditional lar package and um, you can um, you you can simply use your R package and then um, you you can make this uh, happen and um, yeah so that that is a main thing uh, once again you can actually see the the package is available on CRAN the latest version you can download it from CRAN the package's name is GTrendsR and then the developers are Philip and Dirk so um, huge thanks to them for making this package and I hope that you find this package useful so if you create something um, interesting 
uh, especially given the current lockdown situation uh, please uh, share it with me you can let me know it in comments um, also if you have any feedback or if you have any expectation of the new video please let me know in the comment section so see you in the next video thank you